away from becoming a national crush? <laughs> Can you do this and pretend like you're shooting at me? Now you are an international crush. <laughs> so in case it has not occurred to you already, I'm not from here. I, although I've convinced a lot of North Indians that I am South Indian, <laughs> and they have never doubted me. Yeah, I remember I met this North Indian dude, right? And he was like, where are you from? And I was like, I'm from down south. <laughs> and that information was enough for him to figure out exactly which part of down south I come from. So it was like, how do you say hi in Tamil? <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, oh, so now I'm a Tamil, huh? Let me show you how much of a Tamilian I am. So I was like, we say hi, Macha. <laughs> and he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, and how do you respond to that? And I, was, and I was like, we respond by saying, super macha. <laughs> and to be fair, he was not speaking English. He was speaking a strange language called English. Ma'am, do you speak English? Okay, I speak English, and my favorite English word is mother truth. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I'm from Sudan, and if you don't know where Sudan is, shame on you, and shame on your geography teacher. Um, so I used to think that the use of gestures or, or body language was universal, I, until I came to India and I discovered that there is this. Which could mean two things that are total opposite of each other. Yes and no. Like, how crazy is that? Right? Then there is this. <laughs> you guys don't want to know what it means in my culture. Yeah? And then my favorite. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um... Also, I didn't know you guys have your own unique phrases, vocabularies, and slangs that don't exist elsewhere in the world, right? Like I came to learn here, passing out means to graduate from college or university, both of which mean the same thing to you guys. Do you guys want to know what passing out means out there? It means to faint or to lose consciousness. So when you tell me my brother passed out last year, what will come to my mind is, Maybe your brother was sick, or he took some hardcore drugs, right? And my immediate reaction is going to be, did you take him to the hospital, right? I also came to learn bunking, bunking, which means to skip classes or not to attend classes intentionally. Do you guys want to know what bunking means out there? Bunking means to have sex. Yeah, that's what it means. So when you're telling me about mass bunking, what comes to my head is gangbang or group orgy. Because mass means a lot of people. Bunking means sex, and sex involving a lot of people is gangbang, right? And my immediate reaction is going to be, where is the mass bunking happening? <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> yeah? And elsewhere in the world, right, there are three indicators on a traffic signal. You have the red one, which means stop. You have the amber one, which means get ready. And you have the green one, which means go. Similarly, in India, you have the three indicators, except they all mean the same thing, which is go. Yeah. In Sudan, before you cross the road, you have to look left, right, left again. And if the road is clear, you cross. I thought the same thing could apply here in India, but I was wrong. The day I committed this mistake, I almost died. <laughs> True story, all right? So in order for me to survive in the Indian world of traffic, I had to come up with a formula. 
all right? And this, the formula I use every time and it has kept me alive until today, right? So this is the formula. So before I cross the road, I have to look ahead and then left, right, and then back. <laughs> and I have to repeat it for consistency, right? And if the road is clear, I will now cross. And sometimes, you know, I'm also tempted to look up, you know. <laughs> when it comes to traffic, I don't trust Indians. <laughs> they can come in literally from any possible direction. <laughs> uh, um, and I used to feel bad for all my awful blind dates, right? Until I came to India and I discovered that people here do something that is much worse than blind dates. They do blind marriages. <laughs> and I just don't feel bad anymore, right? So now, whenever I get myself into another blind date, I just ask myself, what would Kumar do? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. That was my time. <laughs>